guys, what's up? It's Olivia. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a great day and a great week. Sorry it's been a bit since I last uploaded. I've been thinking of ideas because mainly I like vlogging on here, but I'm trying to be more consistent and lately I haven't been vlogging due to not traveling and honestly my day-to-day -day life is not that interesting unless I'm like doing a lot of stuff and let's be real. I haven't really done much interesting stuff lately. So I've been kind of slacking, but I am back with a new video. I thought I'd do an update since I haven't done one in a while about how I'm doing. And I want to talk about this crazy thing that happened the other day that doesn't really happen very often where we live. We got hit by the remains of a hurricane. So I want to talk to you guys about that and just the near future, what to expect on my channel. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first off, how am I doing lately? Well, considering how much I've struggled with a lot of anxiety, depression, and all those mental health issues, I feel like I'm in a pretty decent place right now. Like, I feel like I am finally feeling good mentally. Usually when I would be like by myself, um, not doing anything, I would feel like absolute dog crap about it because of my overthinking and anxiety, and it would just kill my whole vibe. <laughs> But now, I feel like I'm finally at a place where it's like, I take those needed days off and take advantage of them and I don't feel like shit and dog crap about it. I feel better. I feel like I'm finally like me again. I feel like I'm happy again and it's, it's an amazing feeling. I feel like I'm finally at a good place in my life where I know I have true friends to count on and that I can talk to online and in real life. I just feel like... I'm at a really good place in my life right now. Even though I'm not like working at the moment due to it being seasonal, I've done pet sitting and that's great. I've done that. I have been pretty good with TikTok and YouTube and just have a really good group of friends and people that I associate myself with and I love it. To anyone watching, celebrate the little victories, the small steps, even if they don't seem that big they can be big, especially if you have mental health issues, anxiety, depression, and all that. The smallest steps are like amazing and I'm proud of you for even just doing that, for getting up, for showering, for like doing chores, like small little chores, doing self-care days. Even if it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, you did it and I'm proud of you for that because people don't seem to celebrate the small stuff enough. I feel like I got some work to do, obviously, like in my life, but considering how I used to be, I'm doing a lot better, a lot better. Like honestly, I'm really proud of where I've come, like the progress I've made because like I said, I used to have crippling anxiety and depression that would always keep me from doing stuff, but I feel like within the past year, I've done a lot more than I never thought I could do. Like I went to my first Supernatural convention all by myself. Like I just decided, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Even though I'm not the most social person ever, I decided to go out and do it. And I'm proud of myself for that. <laughs> Normally in the past, I would pass up on this kind of stuff because my anxiety would always hold me back. But lately I'm just like, you know what, let's do it. I worked on a short film with my friends and I wasn't sure about it cause like, I'm a little awkward, like I said, but I did it and I'm gonna do it again. Like I wanna do it again because that was really cool getting that exposure. I just always have that like where I self doubt and like overthink and have anxiety, but I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna do more because I wanna do more, look back and be like, wow, I'm so proud of myself for doing that, especially with the supernatural thing and like stuff like that. Hopefully one day I can make it to where I want to in life. I want to be able to become like a travel influencer or photographer or both or something along the lines of video editing and photography and I just love traveling so I love the opportunity if I ever got that and I really want to be able to move to closer to the beach. I just love the beach so much that I want to be over there so I can like whenever there's a bad day at work I can just drive to the beach and it's like right there. I just really would love to do that and I hope I get to do that someday. All right, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is Hurricane Hillary. So a lot of you guys may know that Hurricane Hillary hit the California coast and Baja California, Mexico. Well, where I live, I live on the very western edge of Arizona, like pretty much right on the border of Mexico and California. So we got hit the rain was not super heavy, but it was very consistent the first day. Like we got a whole day's worth of rain, which was really nice and needed. But the second day, oh my God, was it windy. Like to the point where like, 
I heard like things banging on the windows, the windows were rattling, and then like there was a like, school canceled because the roof flew off the building. <laughs> and then one of the roofs fell off of like one of their the Wiener Schnitzel places. If you've never heard of that, it's like a hot dog place. But apparently that building is really old, so it was bound to do that. Lots of trees fell down, power lines, all that. It was brutal. We didn't even have any thunder or lightning or hail. It was just rain and wind. But we definitely felt the hurricane and tropical storm force winds, and it was not a vibe. But luckily, it was a Sunday, and none of us had to work, so we stayed inside all day, and so we are all safe and okay. And luckily, where I live, it's a very nice community where people will help out whenever there's like disasters and stuff, because one time a park was like in a fire, and everyone helped rebuild it. And so like when we had the damage from this wind, a lot of people in the area helped clean up, which was really nice. I just love that about my community where I live. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, if you ever think that you're not gonna make it cause you're too anxious, your mental health is just really bad. This is your sign that it'll get better eventually. The healing process takes time because you're not gonna be 100% perfect. Like right away, you're gonna always have your off days. But that's, yeah, that's part of healing, is that you're going to get better and you're gonna have bad days before you get 100% better. It's okay to have off days, it's okay. I've always had my off days, but I've still gotten better. And don't be afraid to go out of your comfort zone sometimes. I know it's hard, trust me. <laughs> I've always had a struggle with that, but Honestly, the things that scare you the most are probably the ones that are like, you're gonna love later. Like, I was scared as fuck to go to the Supernatural convention by myself, but I ended up loving it so much. I was scared as fuck to go voice chat with one of my favorite tech talkers on his Twitch stream, like, and play video games with him, but I did it, and it was one of the most fun times I've ever had. So, a lot of times, if they scare you, it's gonna be something that you're gonna like love once you're done. You're gonna be proud once you've done it. So remember that. Hey, I'm not perfect, but I'm doing a hell of a lot better than I used to, and you can do it too. It just takes some time and some healing and processing and stuff. Like I feel like the process is definitely better. I still have a bit of ways to go in some ways, but I'm doing a lot better and I'm just glad because honestly, I was in such a funk. I was in such a bad place years ago. I never thought I'd be where I'm at right now, so I'm doing a hell of a good job. All right, and the last thing I'm gonna talk about is upcoming videos. So I'm gonna try and do more collabs. I think I'm gonna be collabing with one of my friends on Saturday, because she said she wanted to make videos and catch up, so I think we're gonna do some collab stuff on Saturday, so stay tuned for that, and then I think I am going to be doing more vlogs in the near future. I know I'm going to be vlogging in September because I have my birthday coming up, my 24th birthday, which is pretty wild. <laughs> and then I'm going to a Coldplay concert, which is one of my bucket list concerts. So I'm so excited because I literally love that band so, so much. So stay tuned for that. And I'm gonna just make lots more vlogs because that's just what I love to do the most is make little vlogs and stuff and I wanna try and do more collabs with people. Also, if anyone wants to collab and like lives nearby like in like California or Arizona, uh, hit me up and maybe we can see about doing a collab sometime. Maybe like at VidCon or stuff like that because I'm down. I'm very shy, but I'm trying to like branch out more and do that because I really want to do this. I really enjoy making videos like this with people, meeting new people, and making new friends, and filming with friends, so let me know. Also, since I was talking about mental health, don't ever hesitate to reach out to me if you ever need me, if you ever need anyone to talk to. I understand what it's like to deal with anxiety and depression and all that, so let me know if you ever need someone. I'm here for you. I just vent all you want. I don't really care if you vent. You never bother me. I love to be there to help other people. So just let me know, reach out to me. I would rather hear your story than have to hear about your funeral or intend your funeral. So just remember that. I'm also hoping to do more photo shoots in the future because I love photography so much and I'm trying to take more pictures of people because I just really want to make this my career. I've always had such a love for taking pictures and I'm still trying to like, I'm still learning but I'm improving and I think they've turned out pretty good and I've been told that 
a lot of people like my photos and like my family and friends so I'm like you know what maybe I should just give it a go because I love doing it and I love getting good feedback on it so if anyone wants to take photos ever like have their photos taken photo shoots let me know on my photography Instagram just reach out to me in the DMs or the comments and I would love to get back to you sometime and have a photo shoot <laughs> so yeah that's how I'm doing lately that's my update for recently I'm gonna try and post more soon so stay tuned because I'm trying to be more consistent <laughs> I know I get like consistent and then I lose it because once I don't know what to like post and vlog because I'm not traveling I kind of lose it but stay tuned I'm gonna try and post more so uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it please hit the like button I'd really appreciate it and subscribe for more comment any ideas and I might do them in the future I love taking suggestions so just let me know and I might do it. I like to do a little bit of everything on this channel, but mainly the vlogs and the lifestyle videos, but I'm up for anything, so stay tuned. All right, well, see you guys next time. Bye.